Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another food video. Today we're having lunch here in Ljubljana, so we figured we need to show you what Slovenian food is all about. Now, I've never had Slovenian food before, ever, because I don't think it's really popular outside of Europe. But um, Sam brought us to Alegria. He spotted this place yesterday. So we're here, we've ordered our wine, we've got our basket of bread, so let's get to it, let's get started. All right, so Sam and I both got the same red wine, and what's the biggest surprise with this? Yes, the local biggest red. Shock. Biggest surprise is now that we've had two restaurant meals here in Ljubljana, is that mm -hmm. they typically serve the red wine chilled. Chilled! At, at least this kind, I believe. And we were talking to the waiter, and he said that this local red is actually even stronger than, uh, than a Cabernet, which tends to mm -hmm. be a, a very full body wine to begin with. So let's give that a shot. And we also got a nice, lovely looking bread basket. We did. And it looks like this bread has some layers of cheese, cheese. melted on top. Cheese rolls. What do you think? Are you getting used to the, the chilled red? Yeah, this red really has a. It's just it has such a rich taste. I believe it's the same one we had at the maybe at the, at, at the Bosnian restaurant yesterday at the Sarajevo, 1984. I think it might be the same because it tastes very similar. And how's that cheese bread? Mmm, that's really nice. I like the. It's got like a. It tastes like a typical cheese bun. There's a lot of cheese melted on top. Mm -hmm. And we're really hungry. We actually, um, we were hunting for a place to eat for a while. We were gonna go somewhere else, and then we decided to come back here. So we've done like kind of a full circuit of the old town. You know, it's surprisingly hard to find Slovenian food. Mm. Like there's a lot of Italian restaurants, right. international restaurants, but we kept like looking through the menus and it's like, where are the traditional yeah. dishes? All right guys, so the food arrived pretty quickly. So let me show you my dish first. I ordered the grilled Slovenian sausage with sauerkraut or cabbage and this kind of like purpley potato. So let's just dig right in. Look, it's like a double sausage, actually. Whoa. So and there, it looks big, divided. big and juicy. Yeah, it sure <laughs> does. Super plump. Hack into that sausage for us. <laughs> All right, got some sausage, potato, sauerkraut, all going on at the same time. <laughs> let's see what this is all about. Oh man. Oh man. It's really good. It's super juicy. Yeah, it looks juicy from over here. Mm. <laughs> Let me say. Wow. It's... And the cabbage, it's quite different from anything I've had recently. It's like super sour. Okay. It almost tastes like it's been soaking in vinegar. Yeah. So yeah, this is really good. So it has more like of an acidic taste, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's cool. Good job. Well, this is one of the start. this is one of the traditional you know Slovenian dishes. So mm -hmm. we're really happy to be trying this. Sure are. Now your turn. All right, going in for the Slovenian sausage. Yeah, and I think like being able to try this food like for now for us it is October twelfth. I know this video is going to be coming out much later, but it is the start of fall and it is starting mm -hmm. to get a little bit chilly. So yeah. to have some nice hearty food is uh it's definitely appreciated though you couldn't really tell it's starting to get chilly by the way sam is dressed i'm no, the only one wearing a jacket i know <laughs> i i forgot my jacket today i'm probably gonna suffer so i've got a little bit of everything on this fork let's see how it tastes mm -hmm. oh, what man. do you think wow That sausage is amazing. That's that is definitely the star of the meal. Yeah, I find it quite the different dish, from say. the 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 spicy sausage that we mm. were having in Slovakia. Yeah, like even though they're neighbors, I feel like they're they're tasty. Oh, it's sausage. completely different. Yeah, it's this this very, very this different. wasn't this one isn't spicy at all. I would describe yeah. it as as juicy and a little bit greasy. And now it's I'm gonna super short. I'm gonna try a little bit of the other dishes on their own because it was uh, had an overwhelming amount of sausage the first bite. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh whoa! It has a bit of a kick, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna say that's that's the most sour uh, sauerkraut type of dish I've ever had. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then the potato is kind of unusual. It looks purple, and purple it reminds potato. me of like all the the roots, potatoes, mm. and corns in Peru. How you get them in so many different colors. It does have a root uh, consistency. Yeah, it's quite yeah. starchy. It's very starchy. Um, doesn't have a strong taste though. It's not overwhelming. Hmm. What? It just makes a nice um, accompanying side dish. It's a really nice way to be starting our Slovenian cuisine experience. Yeah, and now we're moving on to what Sam ordered over yeah, here. Over here. 
All right, so next up, Sam is going in for the Zlikrofi, we believe it's yes. called. Yes, yes. We could totally be butchering it. And inside is basically pork and herbs and, oh wow, look at that. It's got and onions. And onions, oh right, I forgot the last ingredient, onions. And it comes with a, a lamb ragu. Yeah. Ooh, it looks so good. So I'm making sure to get a bit of lamb and a bit of the Oh my pasta. gosh, load it up already. <laughs> This is so good. Such hearty food. Yeah. Again, not spicy at all though. It's just like it's just like kind of that comfort savory food. And I really like the pasta. It's actually quite densely stuffed, so you, you do taste the ingredients inside. Yeah, it's really good. I think you'll like this one. So these have a very distinct shape. They're almost like rectangular ravioli that have been like pressed in the middle. So yeah, pretty unique. Now let's just dip it in some gravy. Dip it in. Mmm, they're quite heavy. Yeah, they are heavy. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like a, a thick dough, also. They're very dense, densely it looks packed. Like they may be whole grain, because <laughs> mm -hmm. the, the little ravioli itself is like a little bit brown. Yeah. But yeah, it's good. And it's very filling. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be stuffed after this. And we have dessert coming. Mm -hmm. We have dessert coming. Well, dessert has arrived. It sure has. Here before us, we have a traditional Slovenian dessert whose name I cannot pronounce, but I can tell you the ingredients. So if you take a bit of a closer look here, it's basically kind of like a, like a puff pastry, like with lots of little crispy layers. And inside it has apples, cottage cheese, walnuts. Sometimes you can have raisins. It also has poppy seed and it's all been dusted with a little bit of icing sugar. So, let's dig it. Right. It looks marvelous from over here. It, I have to say, the, the way the food is plated at this restaurant is absolutely beautiful. Like, they, they make the food look good. Well, we just got our check, which we asked for. <laughs> How is it? It's really nice. It's served warm, and it's so soft. Like the, I thought the layers of the pastry would be a little crispier, but everything's just like moist, and it's really good. All right, time for me to try this. Mm. Oh, wow. You're right. It's light, but. I love the fact that it's warm and that it has a lot of apples. It's just, um, I'm glad that it's not too heavy because I wouldn't have room to eat this. This is just a nice smooth dessert and goes down really easily. And I'm finding that like when I roll it around in my mouth, I'm not even having to chew it very much. It kind of just disintegrates. So time to wrap up this video. Mm -hmm. I am beyond stuffed. Another very filling meal here in Ljubljana, Slovenia, I have to say. And in terms of price point, that came to 28 euros, so that included two glasses of red wine, two mains, and a dessert to share. So yeah, it wasn't as cheap as the other place we went to, but the food was awesome here. And as you can see, it's starting to get really busy now. So oh, yeah. it, it, we're leaving just before one o'clock, and it's packed. It's packed outside, it's packed inside. It's a great restaurant. I highly recommend coming here in Ljubljana.